One carrot juice. How easy. Carrots, ginger. And I'm just going to keep uploading. Because um, I know a lot of people can relate to what I'm doing. Um, and sometimes I might not say what I'm trying to get across. But people will perhaps know what's going on in my head by what I am saying. If you understand that, people. So by that, that can... Uh, help you know when someone perhaps makes a comment or a newbie thinking yeah I know what that, what that person's going through um, yeah right so yeah carrot and ginger sometimes days I never really really know what I'm gonna have I'll buy some shopping in the week or randomly buy you know carrots or cucumber or something and juice those or sometimes you know I just I just go with what I, my gut feeling is like I bought a lot of apples today and some citrus and there was melons there so I bought those as well but a pretty good haul to uh, to keep me going for a few days anyway um, it's pretty cold I can't see it's going to get too much colder I think we, we have got some um, some weather warnings I think for uh, the next few weeks but see how it goes you know I'm pretty used to extreme, extreme cold I've been in uh, places where it's really really bad um, but you know, yesterday I'd done a, uh, like a hot chocolate, which was, um, just some dates, um, mashed them up into Vitamix, smashed them to pieces, put some, uh, hot water in there, and yeah, it did taste like hot chocolate, so get, get that on the go and have a try and see what you think of that. I used, uh, Medjols because to get the pips at the, um, Halawi dates was a nightmare because they were quite dry, so... Medjol dates or whatever other dates you've got, like gooey dates, you can get the pip out easy. Um, yeah, I'm just sat here, just having my juice for breakfast. And just thought I'd do a vid, really, just to check in. Did I say check in on the last vid? Whatever. It's like we're all, you know, I watch all the other people's vids on YouTube, and it, I think it is, it is kind of a competitive thing, I think, to a degree. I don't really, I just kind of started it out just to sort of, kind of document and show people what I'm doing from, from day one, really. Um, just to sort of show my fails and triumphs, I guess, and what I'm struggling with. Because um, I thought it might be interesting to watch. I, I just don't... I'm just here, you know? I'm just sharing, I guess. Um, you know, you've got all these channels of people with their, like, flashy intros and stuff, which is cool, I guess, but it's kind of... It's almost like... Um, fighting for your business in a roundabout right way and it getting your attention but what it comes down to is content I suppose and what you have actually got to say at the end of the day that's why I like Dan McDonald's videos he he's pretty basic with his videos but he just just the way he comes across with his words they just like hit you in the heart sometimes you know and I uh, really like listening to Dan and he gets out and about you know and there's, there's variety to his videos as well which is kind of like what I've done with mine they might be a bit um, I don't know how should you put it um, amateurish or something I don't know but sometimes the raw simple videos are kind of cool you know they just are what they are I'm not trying to jam them up to be anything else really um, you know again I see where it goes in a year's time I might have a little intro on the go there beginning of my videos or a different camera or something or you know, who's to say? Who's to say what's going to happen, you know? Who's to say? Just go with it. Roll with it day by day, week by week, you know? And then I look back at my little food diary and smile, thinking, wow, I've come like two or three months and just looking at what I've ate, you know? And I'm just feeling better than what I've ever have done, really. Um, so, yeah. What can I say? What more can I say? Right. <laughs>